me, Mama Boo here. Welcome back to the channel. And I feel like recently Daddy Boo has not been treating me out enough and I feel like I deserve to get treated out all the time, but Daddy Boo doesn't want to, so I have to treat myself. But I don't have the money to do that, guys, so I kind of need to get a job and I've never worked in my life before. I've always had someone else taking care of me. So I've been a little sad about that, but I am very skillful and I do have a lot of skill sets. I was thinking I can practice some of my skill sets so I can get a job. Let's go start practicing some of my skill sets. All right, guys, so the first skill set that we're gonna be learning is babysitting. And I was thinking that I can do babysitting because as you know, I have a bunch of kids and I thought that babysitting would be pretty easy, but most of them are already kind of older now and I need to refresh my memory. So I'm gonna be practicing some of my skill sets on my youngest daughter. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is my baby. Isn't she so cute? I'm gonna be practicing changing her diet and change her hair clothes. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with is making sure I have a blanket down while changing the diaper. And I'm telling you this, this is kind of important because one time I was changing the baby's diaper and it started all over me, guys. It was so disgusting, but I, I learned and now I have a blanket down when I change this baby. I think you kind of have to set it down nicely. And um, I just said, yes, sweetie. Guys, I think she's with this. I don't know what she's trying to do. Guys, I, I think the baby's about to shark. Okay, I need to hurry, guys. I need to hurry. So the baby has the diaper, and I think I need to put it on. It's sharky, guys. Okay, I think I kind of just put it in. <laughs> I think I just broke the diaper. Baby, it's not funny. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go get some tape to fix the diaper. Okay guys, so you can see that the baby's diaper is kind of falling off because I accidentally ripped it. So, um, I think I'm just going to tape it on. I don't think this will be bad for the baby, guys. I'm going to get a big piece. What I'm going to do is wrap it around the baby. I think the baby actually like kind of likes it. Uh, I know the baby's crying, but I think it actually likes it. See, the baby's laughing, Miles. I, I think the baby actually enjoys this. Baby, stop. Stop pooping. I'm trying to film a video. This is me changing her diaper. I think it looks quite nice and, um, gosh. I think, I think the baby just sharded again. Okay, baby, I just changed your diaper, so um, you're going to have to deal with it. Okay, I guess I'll start changing the clothes now. So I found this really cute one at Goodwill. It says, I'm a happy camper. I love the color blue, so I think it'll look really nice. Now, how do you change it, baby? Baby, stop moving. I don't want to choke you. I'm going to feed the arm. Oh, my God, baby, stop farting. Now I'm going to buckle it in. I think this is a little too big, but... I, I think it'll do just fine. And plus, when I'm babysitting, the baby will have clothes that actually fit. Oh, guys, isn't this so cute? Like, look at this. Okay, and she has a fresh diaper. And with this tape, guys, it will not come off. So I think if you change a diaper, maybe you can consider using some tape. Let's continue on to the next skill. Now that I'm done changing the diaper and also changing the clothes, it's also important that a babysitter knows how to interact with the baby. Because they're not just paying you to watch the baby, but they're also paying you to interact with the baby. What I like to do is try to get to know the baby, right? I'm actually really good at communicating with babies. Like, it's kind of part of my skills. And when I sign up to do my resume for becoming a babysitter, I can say that I'm really good with playing with babies. So I haven't played with babies in a long time. And right now, I'm just going to be trying to practice playing with a baby. Well, I, like, if I was a baby, I want to be able to run and jump around. So I'm going to try to make the baby walk. Oh my God. I think the baby likes this, guys. Oh my God. Oh, damn. You see the, ba the baby dancing. Oh my gosh. God, I, I think this baby's going to be a dancer when it gets older. Ooh. Hey. Oh, guys, I think the baby says... I, I think it says the baby wants to play badminton. Okay, well, I mean, whatever the baby wants, I guess I can go play badminton with the baby. All right, guys, so I just got the badminton set, and I got one for me and one for the baby, and I got a birdie. So I think the baby kind of chose the wrong person to play badminton with because I 
you can tell, I'm a bit of a pro. I've worn many medals and I'm interacting with the baby, which is most important because the baby needs to be entertained. Let's play with some badminton. So the baby needs to be able to hold the badminton and the baby might let go. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. But I need to take the badminton to the baby's hand so then um, you'll be able to play with me. Bye baby, the baby's having fun. Okay guys, I'm gonna add the baby here and then I'm gonna be hitting the Batman back. You better be prepared, baby. And I'm not gonna go easy on you just because you're my child. Oh, I'm not hitting it like this, you know? to cook her dinner. Like, how hard is it to cook dinner? Like, I cook dinner all the time for my kids. So, I was thinking that I could become a professional chef and I'm gonna be practicing some meals that I do every day, but I'm gonna perfect them. So then when people eat them, they're gonna be amazed. The first meal that I'm gonna be making is a simple peanut butter jelly sandwich, Mama Boo's way. And I am the best peanut butter jelly sandwich. And even though I'm making this for dinner, actually scrumptious. I can eat this every day for breakfast, lunch, brunch, I don't know, anything in between. It's so good and I'm gonna be showing you how I do it. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing is taking my white bread. Personally, I like this the best. I know it's not as good for you, but I think it tastes the best. And I like this brand here, it's, it's kinda cheap, but it literally is so fluffy and I think it does the same thing. Now, I'm gonna put it into my toaster and it's gonna be so easy to make. Like say I'm at someone's house and they're really hungry, I can just make this in two seconds. I have to put this on for four minutes and make it nice and toast. Guys, I don't know why my toaster is on fire. Look at all, you see the smoke? Oh my God. <laughs> get a new toaster okay guys so I guess I can't toast my bread so it's just gonna have to look like this the peanut butter I'm gonna be using is from I think Trader Joe's it's the crunchy no stir peanut butter bread oh my god guys it's so oily it says no stir kidding me I'm gonna have to stir this Ooh, this looks like baby diarrhea and I know from experience I guess I'm just gonna have to use oily peanut butter. It usually it looks a lot better than this, but I don't know. I, under the circumstances, this is not gonna come out the best. This is my favorite jelly. I love grape jelly. If you like strawberry better than grape, then I don't even think we can be friends. But I like the squirt bottle because all you gotta do is kinda squirt it out. I love a lot of jelly. Ooh, I kinda put a lot on this one, but that's okay. Okay, so I think one of the most important things about becoming a professional chef is the plating and presentation. They're not gonna hire you to make some crappy food. They also want it to look good. So I think in order to make it look good, I think you're gonna have to cut it in half. And then, it coat the end. I said this looks so yummy. Let me have a bite. So yummy. All right, so the next meal that I'm gonna be making is hot dog lemon salt. And you're probably thinking that's like the weirdest combination ever, but I used to eat that all the time when I was a kid. And oh, 
It was so delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So for this recipe, I'm just gonna be only using one hot dog. And for this, it's actually really good because you don't even need to heat it up. I'm gonna cut it, not all the way through. You see how it's just kind of like a little bit? What this is going to do is actually, when I squirt the lime on it, it's gonna seep in through. So with each bite you get, you get a nice little bit of lime. So now I'm gonna be squirting just a little bit. After we marinate it, I'm gonna take a little bit of salt because the hot dog sometimes can already be a little salty. This cutting part is already really pretty, so I think I can use this as my platter. So I can just serve a singular hot dog and it looks elegant and pretty. All I'm going to be doing is getting the zest of the line. Okay, guys, time for the taste test. All I'm gonna do is break a little piece. Mmm. It's so yummy. Okay guys, so what do you think of my skills? Do you think I can get a job as a chef? Alright guys, that's it for this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then definitely go check out my channel. And hopefully guys, I'll get a job. But anyways, see you next time. Bye!